Ready? 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 Oh, I have done a little. Okay, okay. Um, why is it so hard to drive a golf ball? Why is it so hard to drive this a golf ball? This is a good ball? one. I don't know. Because it doesn't have a steering wheel. Uh -huh. I do. You tell me, Agro. Um, has it got three wheels? It has, and it goes in the air. In the air? It flies. Body. this. It's very small, so could it be a light aircraft? No, too small. Looks and sounds a lot like an ultralight, but the controls are different. It's very similar to a hang glider, but they don't have engines. No, nope, well they're not light aircraft and they're not ultralights. They're called trikes, a form of powered hang glider, and they certainly look like fun to fly, so let's go and take a closer look. These are Chris Branson's babies. He's from Airborne Wind Sports on the central New South Wales coast. The shortened name for them is Trikes. Their technical name is a weight shift controlled aircraft. They fly with the same principle as a hang glider, but of course they have an engine. I asked Chris if they were merely hang gliders with engines. No, it isn't a, a hang glider with just an engine. It's designed specifically for this type of aircraft to take the extra loads. Um, the configuration looks the same, but the sail cloth is different, the airframe is different. Um, it's only visually to the, to the average person that uh, it looks the same, but it isn't. The trike is a great little toy that can be flown from just about anywhere. They're simple to put together too. In fact, Chris's design ensures that you can only put them together in one way. First, the wings are unfolded and battens slid into them to give them strength and support. The wings are then tensioned and checked before being mounted onto the bottom part of the aircraft, the trike. A few more checks and you're ready for takeoff. As well as being easy to construct, they're also easy to fly. Yes, they are easy to fly. It takes approximately eight hours to learn to fly solo, and we have uh, qualified instructors that teach how to uh, actually fly these. You can't just come along and hop in and fly it by yourself. You must go through a learning process to learn to fly them correctly. The, the process of learning is broken down into different stages, and you can actually learn to fly it by the seat of your pants in, in under two hours, but the landing process takes the rest, approximately five hours to learn to fly solo. These are real thrill-seeking machines, James Bond type gadgets that look simple and can really perform. Their power comes from a water-cooled two-stroke 532cc engine that produces a very hefty 65 horsepower. That's a lot of oomph for such a light machine. They only need 30 metres to take off and land in, they can climb at the nauseating speed of 2,000 feet per minute and can cruise at 110 kilometres per hour. It might look like flying by the city of pants, but it doesn't feel like it. They're very comfortable and safe. Maybe like riding a motorcycle through the air. Just great. In this day and age of supersonic air travel, isn't it nice to know that some people are taking flying back to its simplest form and coming up with great little inventions like the trike.